Wait, what? Chocolate is good for me and good for my eyes? Is that possible? I'm gonna tell you, stick around. Welcome to the Eye Care and Wellness Channel. I'm Joel Hayden, I'm an optometrist and nutritionist. And on this channel, we talk about all things eye care, nutrition, eye nutrition, and ways in which we can live a longer and better life. So if that interests you, consider subscribing, hit that like button if you like what I have to say, and let's get at it. So it was actually the Mayans thousands of years ago that found out that the cacao bean, which roasted would be the cocoa bean, was beneficial to your health. So that's crazy. So I wanted to know, you know, where does the dark chocolate come from? Is it the cocoa bean or the cacao bean? C-A-C-A-O. So it turns out that the cacao bean is actually the same as the cocoa bean, except the cocoa bean is roasted and the cacao bean is what is in the natural form. So it is in those beans where we find the plant molecules called polyphenols, which are beneficial to our health. In the cocoa bean, it, they are called flavonoids or flavanols, and they have been shown to help the cardiovascular system as a protective um, mechanism, almost as an antioxidant, as well as reducing the risk of diabetes, which is crazy. You're thinking chocolate's not gonna reduce the risk of diabetes, but dark chocolate will. And what it does is it relaxes the lining of the blood vessels. So it allows better blood flow, better oxygenation of our system, and it reduces stri uh, stroke risks, it can reduce diabetes risk, and it can reduce heart disease risk. So what helps your heart can also help your vision. So how does dark chocolate help the eye? Well, pretty simply, by increasing the oxygenation of the blood vessels, we know that we can decrease the risk of macular degeneration, we can decrease the risk of glaucoma, and we can decrease the risk of diabetic retinopathy. Not only diabetic retinopathy, but we can also decrease the risk of diabetes, all with dark chocolate. We're not talking milk chocolate, we're talking dark chocolate, which is 60% or more dark chocolate. So Dr. Hayden, what are we talking about when we talk about dark chocolate? just something called dark chocolate? Well, no, we actually want it by the percentage of the cacao. So I like to see somewhere between 60 and maybe 85%. And if you wonder what that looks like, here's a bar with the amount on it. And it tells you right off the bat how much is in there. And you know that's a good product. Now, the higher you go in the percentage, Typically, um, the more bitterness it has. But even this is good. I mean, it's dark chocolate. It's very good. But we're not talking regular chocolate. We're not talking milk chocolate. We're talking dark chocolate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, how much? Can I, can I eat all I want? No. This bar has a lot. It has about 90 grams. And I wouldn't think that you would want more than maybe an eighth of that a day. So like maybe yeah, even 10 grams seems like a lot. I would say like five grams a day, five grams of dark chocolate would be fantastic. So they, there was a large study of 500,000 participants and they had two to three servings a week of 30 grams of dark chocolate. And after the study was over, they had a decreased risk of heart disease, diabetes and stroke. So that's huge. So we know that the dark chocolate is beneficial and we know the flavonoids are going to be beneficial because of the polyphenol effects that we talk about with lutein, zeaxanthin, um, and all the other polyphenols that we have in the retina that help decrease the risk of macular degeneration and other diseases, even cataracts. So lastly, there was a study that compared milk chocolate to dark chocolate and graded them by three different types of visual acuity. So they tested for visual acuity, which is how small of the letter you can read. They checked for contrast sensitivity of large letters, and then they checked for contrast sensitivity of smaller letters. And this is crazy, but they found improvement in all three 
two hours after ingesting a 47 gram, 72% cacao dark chocolate bar. Wow, that's crazy. I think all that was good information. I do think that dark chocolate is good for you and good for your eyes. And if you have found that you feel healthier because you are regularly ingesting dark chocolate, I'd love to hear from you. Hit the comments below. Hit the comments below for anything that you want to talk about related to this subject. I hope you found that interesting on the dark chocolate. If you did, please think about commenting. Consider subscribing, hitting that like button. And until next time, take care.